What's up guys, so uh, last one I did the Digital Trip Madness, uh, this time I'm going to move right next to, to a loon. Now this one's interesting to say the least. So it's pretty much the entire city of Chicago with no humans, cars, garbage, and all that good stuff, but yeah, this one's interesting. I was playing it before, and I completed the entire district so I can get the, uh, costume. So, the objective is that, that, uh, what they call is the generators. What you have to do is get close to it and hack it, but you got these guys. They're pretty much people with camera faces. And pretty much you gotta get there. Oh, oh, that was close. Pretty much get there without being spotted, because if one per one of them spots you, they will annihilate you. Liter literally, they will annihilate you with radiation. It's freaking terrible. The good thing is, they're not very, um, uh, perceptive. As long as you don't cross into their light, uh, you're good. They won't turn around unexpectedly if they hear you or something like that and whatnot. But, and they, yeah, sometimes you'll get really close and then all of a sudden, like, three will be summoned. So, I will hack this. It's slow, unfortunately. You, it, normally, it's a lot slower than that, but I have a bunch of skill points that help me uh, to get through it. So, yeah, that is first district and then you'll push you'll get your skill oh, okay even though I completed this all the hacks are gone okay well this this works for the video so the first one I definitely recommend is uh, this one quick computing hack the generator faster definitely needed because that that was slow and a lot of times they're more um, they're hard they really are now here's the fun part there's no guns you start off with zero guns. I mean, later, you get a ton of them. They'll appear in all directions. From behind, it, it's terrible. But the good thing is, there are these briefcase icons that you can find. Uh, what they do is, they give you ammo and a gun. Uh, I think the first one is the AK-47. Uh, let's find out. You just come up, hack it quick. Yep, AK-47 and 15 bullets. Yeah, yeah, you don't get a lot of ammo. And, uh, you look at the map. These are all generators. Every one of them. There's a lot to be, uh, beat if you want the costume. I already have it, so I'll try, I'll do another generator or two. And then I'll quickly go to a hideout and show you what it looks like. So the good thing is the cars work. Now you see this barrier type thing? That goes to show that you're close to another generator. So you cross into it, your car will die. A good strategy I know is like, if you get a ton like that. Am I on the wrong side of the generator? Oh crap, that's why. I crossed two generators, okay. Yeah, okay. So right now I'm safe. So what I like to do, starting off, like, sometimes you'll only get two, sometimes you'll get, like, eight. Like, sometimes you'll get a shit sign. Okay, so yeah, that's the bad, of, like, when they show in that red. Run back into the open, they die. The good news is, once you cross back through, the ones that die will not respawn. Which, it, it helps. It definitely helps when you get eight that spawn right in the beginning. So, pretty much this is what alone is. Is just trying to go through this without being spotted. And yeah, you see, there's already a bunch of them around the place. Oh, there's a, another crate. Now, it's, it'll still be the AK-47. Um, it, it's not always the AK-47. I think depending on how many of them you open, it changes to, I believe, a shotgun, uh, a rifle, I think the goblin, uh, a shotgun, which is the, I forget the name of it, I'll look later, because I have it, uh, in my inventory on my main, like, 
out of digital trip. But yeah, this is this kind of reminds me of like uh, you know Metal Gear Solid stealth aspect, you know, trying to get through. But it really this is a lot like The Last of Us, sneaking around trying to take down the infected, uh, trying to t oh shit! Say I got spotted. Ah, crap. Now they're searching for me. I gotta move. Get close to the generator as fast as possible. Ah, crap. Here we go. Okay, see, now I'm good. Luckily, I got away from that. Luckily, there was only one. Sometimes, I, I once had, I think, 16 or tw to 20 gang up on me instantaneously. Ah, shit. I got one sneaking up behind me. It gets hard fast. It really does. Get close enough and start hacking this bitch already. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom! There we go. So that's pretty much the idea. Is find the ammo, uh, the gun crates. And, uh, yeah, definitely. The first one I would definitely always recommend is the hacking speed. That it helps. Um, the range, the beta signal is a, a beta omega system a signal definitely is another one that helps. Um, another one like if you a little later, um, you have a problem where uh this one is uh later you're gonna get spotted a lot. So the anti radiation vest will help you, and then of course the radiation shield which will help you more. Um, you will get, uh, certain, like, guns and, uh, ammo stuff, which is here. The EMP belt is the first one I would definitely recommend. Uh, like, if you're getting surrounded, use the MP belt. It'll disable all the robots around you for a couple seconds. Allow you to bolt like a motherfucker out of there and just run. Or, turn around, gun them down, take them down. Either is good. Another good one is if they're clumped together is the EMP grenade. Um, it's tough to get them clumped together unless of course you're being spotted. You quickly throw one down and then you hack it real quick and then it'll stun all of them. Uh, that's another one that helps. This is another good one. The EMP gun temporarily disables them and it's loud. But for some reason, like, even though they hear it, they don't do anything. I guess they don't have ears, being a head, with a head of a camera, I guess. Uh, and, uh, let's see, Warfare. Uh, this one uh, is for, good for later on, too. Just more damage from your weaponry. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Um, now I gotta resume and then quit. Wake up. Oop, oh, I one. Confirm. So I'll show you what the costume is for uh, this one alone. I do have the costume. I did beat that one. It was like 20... I think it was 20 nodes that you had to hack to get the costume. That's the longest one you have to do. Well, you don't have to. That's the longest one if you want the costume. Alrighty. Go in here into the wardrobe. Okay. So this one is alone. It's pretty nice, I would definitely say. I definitely, it's, it's very mysterious. So, alrighty guys, well, that was alone. Um, if you're not a fan of stealth games like Metal Gear Solid or Last of Us, I mean, you can just run in and gunning them down, but you don't get a shit ton of ammo, so it's not recommended in that game mode. So, yeah, that was pretty much it, and, uh, 